people who hate the Romans have no ethics, don't care, they just want numbers, numbers, numbers. Exclusive. I F asterisk asterisk King know you're not racist. The talks Elaine Welteroth consoled sobbing Sharon Osbourne and admitted she was set up an explosive audio clip after on-air blow-up with Cheryl Underwood before stabbing Star in the back to CBS. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The article further states, Elaine Welteroth was caught on a hot mic consoling distraught Sharon Osbourne and reassuring her that she knows she's not racist, audio obtained by DailyMail.com reveals. Hold on. What exactly are we doing right now? Help me understand. They asked me to ask that question. I said, no, I'm not going to ask that question. I said, wait, what's the intention of this conversation? Because this can go left so fast. I'm like, they go, let me call you back. I said, I said to them, this is going to be a train wreck. Now look at this sweetheart, you can tell. I know. Sharon, I'm just so sorry that that was, that that went the way that it went. Do you know, you, do you know what it is? When you have to sit there and defend yourself, yeah. it makes you look guilty because you can't yeah. get out of it. Yeah. It's like Jack always says, it's like <laughs> telling a pedophile. Right. You can't deny it. It's like, how do you, at how the end do of the day, like what come look at my web browser like i'm gonna pedophile like right. you know it's i don't think we we all agreed but when you left you were like there's no way that we should have seen I'm like, for, I, th I thought, I thought, I was told Sharon wants to comment on Pierce. I go, great. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, let her, I'm, and they go, well, they go, okay. Is there anything you want to say? I was like, no. As I was, <laughs> not as at I all. Was, as I was driving in this morning, they said, do you want to comment on Pierce? I said, sure, I will. Sure. Four minutes, four minutes before I went out, they called me and said, you know, some might not agree with your opinion. Is that all right for them to air it? I said, of course it is. We talk whatever they feel. Like, you know, we'll discuss it. I never thought it was going to be that because you can't, whatever you say, you just look guilty. It's like, and now everybody's going to have that little seed of doubt. Oh, you know, maybe she's a bit racist. It's so f***ed up. It's so f these people here, the runners have no ethics. They don't care, they just want numbers, numbers, numbers. These people here, the runners have no ethics. They don't care, they just want numbers, numbers, numbers. Did you speak to them? Did you get anyone on the phone yet? I mean, this is not nice. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. The building, the offices are empty. There's nobody here. I just want you to know, Sharon. Cheryl loves you and respects you so much and had your back behind the scenes she was not trying to attack you and i but i also understand when you've had a night long of trolls attacking you online that puts you in a position where you're just like you have to defend yourself you feel like you have to defend yourself and i know you're upset i know it was terrible but i just hope that once this blows over once we that you know Cheryl is your friend. I, I, she really is listen, your friend. She I doesn't have think said you're racist. To Cheryl, I, I don't think said, you're racist. But no I, one here who no, no one who knows you would ever say but that why, or think but that. But why couldn't she say, I've known you for eleven years. I know you are not racist instead of I don't think you are. No, mm. I know you're not. Mm. There's a huge difference. Osborne, 68, infamously fell out with her co-hosts after getting into a heated on-air debate with Cheryl Underwood over friend Piers Morgan on March 10. Underwood accused Osborne of giving validation to Morgan's racist views after she defended the British broadcaster for criticizing Meghan Markle. Welteroth later addressed the blow-up on air weeks later saying she and Underwood had stayed composed in the face of someone who went off the rails. The incident sparked an internal investigation at CBS after Welteroth reportedly complained of a racially insensitive and hostile environment at the show. First, for the sake of time, I sped up the clip and only played a portion. You can follow the link in the description to hear the full audio yourself. Let me know if you find anything else that is noteworthy. In my opinion, here we have mass media, in the form of this talk show, being exposed. As Sharon says they have no ethics and all they care about is numbers, numbers, numbers. Meaning, the people that run the show don't care about what is right and wrong, but instead only care about the number of viewers they have. 
causing higher ratings for their show. High ratings means they will get more companies to advertise with them. More advertisers means more money. I've always said that these big companies are private companies meaning they are in business to make a profit. They aren't in the business to provide any real value to you as long as you keep watching. I wish the best for Sharon and I don't recommend you watch that show. It is a waste of your valuable time. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.